Cakes and Decker. I'm so happy you're here again. We have a super special tutorial today. We are going to show you how to make your very own unicorn mugs. They look super cute. It will be super fun. So come on, it's time to start. The first thing we need is two white cups like these ones. We need them to be white because we are transforming them into unicorns. <laughs> So, we are going to create a foam triangle like this one. Actually, we need two of them. These are going to be the unicorn ears. We'll attach them to the cups later. Now, we are going to create the unicorn horn. We are going to start by doing a foam triangle. But, we'll make it a little longer and bigger. And we are going to cut the bottom part off, since we need the horn to look sharp and much more like a cone. We'll take another piece of foam and we are going to roll it like this to create a foam strip. And then, with the help of our roller, we are going to flatten it little by little until it looks like a really flat tortilla. With scissors, we are going to cut it creating waves like these ones. It kinda looks like lace. We are going to create something really cute with this. Now, we are going to roll the cute foam waves we cut before. And this way, we are going to create a really beautiful rose for our unicorn. With really pointy scissors, we are going to cut the bottom part like this, while also we push the foam inwards to give it a more rose shape. We made another two foam flattened strips. We are using a blue one and a purple one. We will create the waves on these ones too, so we can create the flowers. <laughs> Now look, we have three foam balls. One is pastel pink, one is purple, and one is blue. We are going to start rolling them on the table to create long strips. After we have all three strips, we are going to braid them together. Little by little and very patiently, we are going to create a foam braid just like this one. It looks super, super cute. We are going to use this cute braid we made for the handle. Attach it really good all over it and then cut the remaining part so it fits the handle perfectly. So the braid won't fall off. We are going to add transparent glue on the handle. Use the right amount of glue so it ends up looking super pretty. After we've glued the braid on the handle, we are going to add glue on the other pieces. So, first we are going to glue the unicorn horn right here. So, we already glued the ears and now we are going to add the cute roses. This pink one goes under the unicorn horn. It looks super super cute, don't you think? And now the purple one will go right beside the pink one. Let's glue it really really good. And we'll glue the blue one on the other side. Look, we also glued tiny roses above the big ones. Now let's paint the horn. For this, we are going to use a golden yellow. Now we are going to add details on the ears with pink. I'm sure the unicorn is going to look amazing. We want to add a nice effect to the roses by painting highlights with white and pastel colors. Add just a tiny amount of paint on the flowers. Now we are going to take acrylic paint to add the face. We will make this unicorn look super sweet. We'll draw the eyes and eyelashes, also the mouth and then we'll add pink blush. We want our horn to look even more magical. So we'll take this golden thick thread and we are going to wrap it around the horn using transparent glue. For the roses, we are going to add shadow and dimension with a darker shade of the color they are. They will look awesome! Now, we'll apply a coat of clear nail polish on the eyes so they look super 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 bright. <laughs> it's time to create our second cup. We are going to use a whole different technique for this one. First, we are going to mark with a pencil 3 centimeters on the cup. Then, on the section under the mark, we are going to apply a small amount of glue with our fingers. Now, we are going to apply golden glitter all over the part where we applied glue. It's going to look super sparkly. 
If there are any uncovered spots, use glue to add more glitter on it. I love magic and unicorns. We are going to glue thick golden thread following the line that divides the white part from the glitter part. <laughs> So, pay attention here, we mark different circles on the paper, and now we are going to add baby oil on an acetate. This will help us so when we add the hot silicone, it can detach easily. Now, we are going to create hot silicone circles using the acetate. Try to make them as round as possible so they end up looking pretty. When the silicone is cold, we can finally remove them from the acetate, just like this. See how easy it is? It's okay if they don't look so perfect. We will use our super trusty scissors to cut the edges and improve the round shape. Look, here we have all of the different silicone circles we are going to use for our cute cup. I love how they look going from biggest to smallest. They look super pretty. Now, I'm going to pile them up and glue them on top of each other going from biggest to smallest. Just like this. We are going to use this as a unicorn horn. Don't you think it looks amazing? But it's time to decorate it, so let's move on to the next step. We are going to apply glue on the horn and then we are going to cover it with the same glitter we used before for the cup. Look, we have triangles on this paper and we are also going to put an acetate above it. Then we'll take out hot silicone gun and do the same as we did with the circles. Don't forget to put the baby oil so the triangles can come off. After the triangles are cold, we are going to glue the small triangles on the big one. These are going to be the unicorn ears. Now, we are going to paint the ears with white. Cover them really, really good. And for the small triangle, we are going to paint them pink. They are looking super, super cute. <laughs> We have all these paper petals that we are going to use to create a very beautiful flower. So, we need to cover them with an acetate and once again apply the baby oil so we can create our petals. Let's create each one of the petals with the hot silicone glue. Be very patient and do as many petals as you can so when we create the flower it looks amazing. I'm sure it would look super pretty. Now, we are going to make them look even better and correct the little mistakes we made by cutting the borders just like this. Now, we are going to arrange them like this, forming a flower and we are going to glue the petals together little by little. We will continue doing this and creating layers. In the end, the flower will have lots of layers and it would look super amazing. Now it's time to paint the flowers. This one will be pastel blue. Give it several coats of paint if needed so the color looks super bright. The second flower is going to be orange. This color is super pretty. After that, we are going to add pastel blue details on it. To add contrast, we'll do the same with the other flower. <laughs> Time to arrange everything. First, we are going to glue the sparkly horn on the cup. Glue it really, really good so it won't fall off. Now, we will glue the cute ears, one on each side. Make sure to attach them super, super good. And now it's time to glue the flowers. They are so pretty. We'll glue one under each other of the unicorn ears. <laughs> With the help of a very thin brush and pink, we are going to add lines on the petals to add dimension to them. They are looking super nice. This unicorn mug is looking so pretty, but it's time to paint the effect on the other flowers so it looks super awesome. The flowers look cute, so finally let's outline them with white. This gives them a bright effect so they look more alive. We will do this on the orange one and also on the blue one. Wow, look how pretty it looks! But to make it more durable, we need to paint the face. Use black acrylic paint to draw the eyes and eyelashes. Now, with pastel pink, we are going to add blush. Make sure to paint it really good so the unicorn looks super sweet. And finally, we are going to apply a coat of clear nail polish on the eyes so they look super, super bright. 
The unicorn mocks are ready! They both look super pretty! I think we did a really awesome job because they do look magical and sweet! We use different techniques with each one, but they both look equally amazing! You can use these mocks as decoration for your room or to give them as a present for your friends! You can put anything inside them or even drink tea! This glitter unicorn cup looks super cute! We did all the details with hot silicone glue and I think that's amazing! And also, here we have the unicorn cup we made using foam! This one also looks super pretty! I love the horn and the braid handle! Your friends are going to be super super happy if you give them one of these unicorn mugs! I'm super happy with how these unicorn cups look! It was super fun to do! And it was also super easy, don't you think? They look just too adorable! <laughs> So, the unicorn mugs were a huge success! I'm super happy with the results! I hope you like them too! Please share your unicorn mugs with me! I'll be happy to look at them! Please give us a like and leave us a comment down below telling us which unicorn cup did you like the most! Also, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss our next tutorials! Thanks for watching Crafts and Decor! See you soon! Bye bye bye! <laughs>